how to optimize hard disk or SSD for gaming. Hey what's up YouTube! In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make your hard disk or SSD work better for gaming on Windows. If your computer's been a bit slow lately, especially when it comes to your hard disk, this video's got the solution you need. Stick around till the end to catch all the details. Alright, let's dive in. Alright, first things first, let's check if your disk is in good shape. Hit the Windows key, search for command prompt, and open it up. Once it's open, type in chkdsk, followed by a space in the letter of your main drive, usually see for most folks. If it's a different letter, you can find it in my files, look for the disk with the Windows icon on top. For me, it's C, so I type in C colon forward slash F. This command checks for any issues or corruption in your C drive and fixes them if found. Quick heads up, before you do this, close all applications related to your C drive to avoid any software hiccups. After it's done, just restart your PC before moving on to the next steps. Now that your disk is all good, let's tackle step 2, disk defragmentation. This process helps clear out unused data, freeing up space and optimizing the way data is stored. Search for defragment and optimize drives. If you're using a solid state drive or SSD, defragmentation isn't for you. Instead, click on Optimize. It'll start trimming your SSD without slowing it down. For those with hard disk drives or HDD, click on Analyze and if needed, follow up with the Optimize to kickstart the defragmentation. Want to make it a routine? Go to Schedule Optimization, hit the Change Settings, and set it to Run Daily. Once it's done, just hit Cancel. Easy peasy. Alright, let's dive into Step 3, where we'll tweak some Windows services to amp up your disk optimization. Open up your PC settings and look for Storage Sense. This nifty feature analyzes your storage, cleaning up temporary and junk files on the fly. Once inside, let it analyze disk occupation, then click on Storage Sense. Hit Keep Windows Running Smoothly and enable Automatic User Content Cleanup. Mirror these settings for configured cleanup schedules. Click Run Storage Sense Now. Now, head to Apps. In Offline Maps, disable them. If you've already done it in core settings, no worries. Next stop, privacy and security. Open each Windows permission and turn off everything except let Windows improve start and search results by tracking app launches. I find this one handy, but it's your call. Now onto speech, turn it off. Repeat the disable everything routine for all the options. There you go, fine tuning your Windows settings for a smoother ride. Time for the next step, let's disable those startup applications. Press Windows, Shift, and Escape together to open up the Task Manager on your Windows. Click on Startup Apps, and there you'll see a list of all the applications. Now, spot the ones you don't use often. You only want them firing up when you actually need them, not every time your Windows boots. By cutting them from startup, you'll speed up your boot time and optimize disk usage in the long haul. I've already disabled the ones I rarely use right after my PC starts. I've kept only the essentials enabled, the ones I use frequently. Talking about streamlining things for a faster startup. Here comes the crucial step, creating a restore point. Search for create a restore point on your PC. I strongly advise against skipping this one. Look for your local disk, usually labeled C. Click on create, give it a name like disk optimized or something memorable and hit create. Don't underestimate the power of a restore point. It's your safety net. If you ever need to restore your PC, you can do it in a single click without losing any data. Better safe than sorry. That's a wrap for today on System Secrets. We've just unlocked the ultimate tips for optimizing your hard disk or SSD for gaming. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell to stay in the loop. Share with your gaming squad and let's elevate those frame rates together. Until next time, happy gaming!